Crash out segment. Crash out segment. We got a crash out segment. Hold on. Nah, we got to do this crash out segment, bro. All right? Crash out segment. Okay? Crash out segment. Hold on. Crash out segment. Crash out segment. Okay. So, this is what happened, guys. We're going to go through this quick, okay? We're going to run down this quick, and then we're done. Pod is over, all right? So, Brampton Man loses his license. Guess what he does? Donuts. Tries to skirt off. Almost hits four people. He's pathetic. He's a loser. Crash out segment. He got a 30-day suspension and um, 15-day tow, impound, and he has to go to court for May. Idiot. Crashed out for no reason just because he got, just because he failed his driver's test. All he had to do was just reapply and do it again. You have time to practice now and get better. Hey, yo, I filled my driver's test. Someone help me out? Someone can help you out. Go on Kijiji. Look for a driver instructor for an hour. Figure it out, my nigga. Have someone pay someone an hour, pay someone $20 or $25 an hour to teach you how to drive for like an hour or two. Boom. Do that like once a week. Boom. You know what I'm saying? Come on, bro. What are we doing here? Crash out segment. Crash out segment. You already know. Crash out segment. All right? So, new Jersey woman dies defending her crib. Do you know how she did it? Do you know how she did it, guys? This girl is on fire. She burned that shit to a crisp. She got in cremation, in formation, cremation style. Beyonce, I shouldn't have wrote that down. I shouldn't Dude, have what the fuck? But all I'm saying is she went left eye. She went down, set it off, left eye type shit, yo. She's like, yo, I'm done with y'all. She's like, this girl is on fire. You gonna evict me? You gonna evict me? Well, this girl is on fire. I'm taking everything down with me, yo. She said, I am done. That's what I'm doing. Because I am straight up crashing the fuck out. Crash out segment. You know what I mean? Crash out segment, crash out segment. That was it. That was the crash out segment. <laughs> You know what I mean? <laughs> this is a quick crash out segment. You know what I mean? Florida bill. That's not that didn't pass yet, but they're trying to they're trying to stop sex education in schools. It's Florida, man. Some crazy always happens in Florida. They're trying to stop sex uh, sexual education in schools from grade six to twelve. Honestly, you need sexual education because some parents are shit. They're not going to teach their kids anything. My parents did not teach me anything about sex. Nothing. But then they want me to get married. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They ne my mom did not teach me. She taught me how to respect women and treat women well, but she didn't teach me how to like how to approach a woman, how to get a girl. That's that's my older bro, uncles, you know. My dad didn't show me that. My dad's too old school. You know what I'm saying? It's too old school for that. Like the way he he does it is mad old school. The way he gets the way he gets his girls back back in the day. You know what I'm saying? Mad old school, dog. Seventies, eighties, different different vibe. You know what I mean? Yeah, the afro, everything, different vibe. You know what I mean? But some parents, I'm not saying my parents are shit. I'm saying some parents are shit at talking about sex. They don't talk like talking about sex with their kids. So if they can get some of that education at school. It'll ease it so when, let's say, they're watching a movie, some shit pops off, and the kid's not flinching, then they go, okay, okay, he got the talk. And then you can kind of make jokes about it, and then you can be like, all right, he kind of knows where I'm going. Then, as y'all get older, and y'all start talking, talking, then y'all you can get more comfortable, but y'all get what I'm saying. But yeah, I feel like, like I know what a urethra is because, because of this shit, and that's, that's where your pee comes out. I know, I know the anatomy of a penis because of that. So I know if something's wrong, I could be like, oh, it's right here, right? <laughs> Women, they learn. I learned that there's more than one hole. I thought it was just pee, right? I just thought it was just pee. There's more than one. Who would have knew? You know what I mean? There's a lot of things that you learn if you pay attention, and there's a lot of kids that actually learn things. So there's, there's the kids that take it immaturely. There's kids that don't care, just another grade. 
and they're the kids that are like, oh, they're interested. That it's always like that. So, and when parents try to ban it, it's like these are parents that grew that are my age, <laughs> that that have kids now, and they don't want their kid children learning about that shit. So that now they're trying to ch- trying to get shit changed. When when you're your parent when it's happening to your parents, to your parents, your parents were doing the same shit too, probably. Mine were like, ah, whatever, man. At least we're in Canada. <laughs> I'll talk to them at home, and then when they go out, they'll know Wagwan. That's also another thing. You t- you talk to your kids at home. You tell them, yo, even though they're doing this, this is how we are. Da da da, da. and respect them and have some respect. Da 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 da. Culturally, they're not culturally like us, but have some respect. Boom. When you go outside. You're the, you don't even flinch when you see shit. You know what I mean? So, I'm just saying, leave the kids alone. Let the kids learn. We keep trying to tell kids what to do and all this shit. Yes, we need to guide children. But also, what comes with guidance is letting children be mentally free. Not mentally confined into what you want them to think. Or else, it's going to be hard for them to create more to help you in the future. Because when you become old and gray and they, they're too lazy or they don't have enough information to create something to help you with maybe your, your illness or your lack of movement or your lack of physical whatever, they can, you know what I mean? And you're just trying to constantly shelter these kids and make them think of a certain way. You're screwing them up a bit, man. I'm just saying, man. And grocery prices are too goddamn high for us to be doing this. Fuck. I wanna, I wanna fight Gavin, bro. That nigga, bro. There's no more, there's no more plastic bags at Loblaws. Like what? We don't do plastic bags. Why? I don't even know if it's just that one, the one I go to, but they don't do plastic bags anymore. You guys overcharge for everything and don't do plastic bags. So you know what I do? I walk in there with my shit. So after I scan my shit, so I scan my own shit, pay for it, and the I, how come, how come, how come the cashiers get bags? Actually, no, they don't even give the cashier bags. Farm Boy does the same thing, but they give you paper bags at least. Give me a paper bag, my nigga. They don't want to give me a paper bag. Loblaws is a grocery store, and Farm Boy is a grocery store. But yeah, they want to give me a goddamn paper bag, yo. So anyways, I walk in back in the store. I walk back in the store, grab those, um, those you know, the bag that you put your fruit in and or like the meat that you have, whatever, pause. Grab those bags, pause. And then I throw my shit in there, pause. And then I roll out the store and they think, it looks like I stole something, but I didn't steal nothing. But I want them to think I stole something. Because grocery prices are too damn high. I want them to think I'm stealing the shit. Like, God damn, grocery prices are too damn high. And there's always a lady looking at me like, is he stealing? You know, it comes with the skin. Anyways, on that, on that note... Y'all stay blessed. Y'all stay tuned. Hope you enjoyed this episode. That was take three. I made it through. We finished it. And I added 10 more minutes. So you already know. Y'all stay tuned. Y'all stay safe. Y'all stay blessed. Love y'all. Peace. Did this shit for y'all. You already know. Peace.